It all started with some cows in Argentina. 1941, the U.S. government heard some rumors that the Germans were importing adrenal glands taken from cows in Argentina. Why? To try to combat stress among their pilots. Uh, by that time, it was known that uh, the adrenal gland produced something that allowed people to deal with stress. Indeed, that idea goes back to 1855 when Thomas Addison, a physician in England, discovered withered uh, adrenal glands on autopsy in patients who had been fatigued during their life. And this, of course, gave rise to what we know today as Addison's disease. So there was some reason to think that adrenal glands could counter stress, give extra strength, etc. It turned out that the Nazis never actually did that. But nevertheless, the U.S. government launched research into trying to extract from the adrenal gland whatever substance it was that it produced that allowed people to deal with stress. And it was in the 1940s that Edward Kendall, uh, who was a chemist at the Mayo Clinic, uh, managed to isolate a bunch of compounds from the adrenal gland, one of which seemed to really be the active one. Well, this is the one that was extracted from the outer layer of the adrenal gland, the cortex of the layer, and therefore the compound came to be called cortisone. And uh, then the physician also at the Mayo Clinic collaborated with, with Kendall, and uh, he had some patients who were suffering from arthritis, and he didn't know what to do with them. And they decided that maybe it was worth a try to give them this extract of the adrenal gland which uh, at that time was being extracted from ox bile. Well, they had a chance with a lady who in the scientific literature came to be called Mrs. G. And she refused to leave the clinic until they gave her something that would alleviate her pain. So out of desperation, they tried the cortisone. Within days, her recovery was remarkable. She hadn't been able to walk before. She went shopping happily. And of course, that was the birth of cortisone therapy for arthritis and for many other conditions. Of course, there was always a but, as there is with medications. There were side effects. Uh, people started to develop thin skin, weak bones, moon face with the use of uh, this compound. So of course, what chemists then do is they go into the laboratory, they try to change the molecular structure a little bit to see if they can come up with something that is more effective with fewer side effects. That gave birth to prednisone. Prednisone was the drug that was used to treat uh, President Kennedy's Addison's disease. And of course, it is still widely used for a large variety of conditions. But it still had side effects. So the search went on to f try to find drugs with fewer side effects. They'll change the molecular structure. And researchers came up with dexamethasone, and of course, we've been hearing about this because of its connection to COVID-19. It is being used in hospitalized patients because it has an anti-inflammatory uh, effect. And COVID-19 causes inflammation, which leads to all kinds of, of problems. Uh, of course, there still are side effects, as there are with all of these corticosteroids. And there are some other interesting connections as well. Believe it or not, in Bangladesh, where it is available easily over-the-counter, prostitutes are using it. Many of these are underage, under 18, and men like full-bodied women, apparently. And they take the dexamethasone in order to put on weight, and it will uh, do that. Of course, they're not worried about the long-term consequences. It gives them also a bit more energy, which they need, because apparently they service up to 15 men a day. So that's why we're hearing a lot about dexamethasone these days. But of course, uh, we also heard about it when President uh, Trump in the US, when he was diagnosed with COVID-19, was given dexamethasone. Interestingly enough, he was given that without following the proper guidelines, because the guidelines right now are that it is only to be given to hospitalized patients who are very seriously ill. But they gave it to him, apparently prophylactically, and maybe it did do some good, or maybe it was the monoclonal antibodies that, uh, that he was given. In any case, uh, interesting how we have come from uh, cows in Argentina to modern day dexamethasone. And so uh, chemistry marches on, hoping to find improved versions of dexamethasone 
more efficacious and fewer side effects. And that's no bull.